Okay, welcome back to Epidemiology. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss attributable risk. Now, attributable risk is the amount of risk that occurs because of the exposure. And we calculated the um, relative risk based on benzene exposure uh, and the development of cancer, and we came up with 2.82 relative risk, which told us that those who were exposed to benzene were 2.8 times more likely to develop cancer than those who didn't have benzene exposure. However, we didn't talk about how much cancer occurred just because benzene exposure occurred. Now, if we got rid of all benzene exposure, we'd still have cancer. So we need to somehow define how much risk is directly attributed to the exposure. Um, and that's what attributable risk calculations give us. Now with attributable risk, we are able to determine that amount because um, we, can, we can get a ratio of the risks. Um, if we looked at the risk of disease of cancer on a bar chart here, and this was our exposed group, now we'd still have some cancer in, even in the population. So even if they w people weren't exposed to cancer, there would be some amount of risk of disease if we put this on a, some kind of chart here. Now, what we want to know is how much here, how much of, of the disease here is because of benzene. We need to calculate that percentage based on that, that column of exposed risk. So the way we do that is take this risk amount, subtract this risk amount, and then we divide that by the whole thing. So the calculation is the risk in the exposed minus the risk of the in the unexposed all over that total column, which was the first one, which is the risk in the exposed group. So we take our, our two by two table that we've created from our word problem before. We had 40 people who were had cancer in the exposed group to benzene, 18 that had cancer that were not exposed to benzene, and we simply put it into the calculation. If you remember, 40 divided by 212 is 18.87%. Those, the amount of risk in the unexposed group was 6.64%, and all of that over 0.1887, and that will give you a total of 64.81%. Now, what does that 64.81% mean? Well, that's a very good question. It means that 64% of that group, the risk in the exposed group, so 64% of the disease in the exposed group is because of the exposure. So if I were to articulate this in an interpretive words, I would say 64.81% of the disease among those who were exposed is directly attributed to the exposure. One more time, 64%, 64.81% of the disease in the exposed group occurs because of that exposure. And that's all there is to attributable risk. So it's, it's the top portion of that graphic description of the risk in the exposed that we're trying to calculate. What percentage of that column is because of the exposure and that's 64.81% in this case.